Welcome to Beyond Sunday with Pastor Nick Williams. South Shore Community Church exists to help all people find and follow Jesus. Join us weekly as we talk through current sermons, theology, parenting issues, and how to have a gospel-centered marriage. We are praying that today's message helps you grow closer to Jesus. Now, here's your host, Pastor Nick. Welcome back to Beyond Sunday, where we explore the principles of leadership and personal growth through John Maxwell's 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. At least that's what we're doing for this month. Today, we're diving into the 16th law, the law of the big mo. This law states momentum is a leader's best friend. Let's spend a few moments together unpacking what this means and how you and I can apply it to our leadership journey. In my leadership experience, I found that momentum can be the critical factor between success and failure. Everyone is always chasing out momentum. I remember a time when our organization was struggling to gain traction. Every task seemed monumental and progress was slow. However, once we started to achieve small successes and build momentum, everything changes. Tasks that once seemed impossible became manageable and the team's morale soared. This experience taught me the immense power of momentum and the importance of generating and maintaining it. John Maxwell defines the law of the Big Mo by saying momentum is a leader's best friend. Momentum is crucial because it often makes the difference between losing and winning. When you have no momentum, even the simple tasks seem impossible. On the other hand, when you have momentum on your side, the future looks bright, obstacles appear small, and troubles seem inconsequential. Maxwell highlights seven key facts about momentum. Number one, he says momentum is the great exaggerator. Success is exaggerated by momentum, making achievements seem even more significant. Number two, he says momentum makes leaders look better than they are. People perceive leaders as geniuses when momentum is strong. Number three, momentum helps followers perform better than they are. People are inspired to achieve and become better when momentum is present. Number four, momentum is easier to steer than to start. Once you're moving forward, you can accomplish incredible things. Number five, momentum is the most powerful change agent. With momentum, almost any kind of change becomes possible. Number six, momentum is the leader's responsibility. A leader creates momentum with vision, the ability to develop a strong team, and the ability to motivate. Followers catch that momentum. Number seven, momentum makes barriers seem small. With momentum, people believe obstacles can be overcome, fueling hope and desire. This law is especially relevant when an organization is starting out. Everything is a challenge, and progress is always slow. However, just like a train gaining speed, once momentum builds, it becomes difficult to stop. The key challenge is building that momentum in the first place and ensuring it is directed towards your goals. Hebrews 12.1 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out in front of us. Perseverance and forward momentum is what we need to achieve goals. Consider the story of David and Goliath. David's confidence and momentum built from his previous successes in protecting the flock enabled him to face and defeat Goliath. This victory inspired and motivated the Israelites, demonstrating how momentum can drive success and overcome significant challenges. John Maxwell said that creating momentum requires someone who has vision, someone who can assemble a good team, and someone who can motivate others. If the leader is looking for someone to motivate him, then the organization is in trouble. This quote underscores the leader's role in generating and sustaining momentum. Another insightful quote is from Winston Churchill, Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. This highlights the importance of maintaining momentum to perseverance and determination. Imagine a startup company struggling to make its mark in the industry. Initially, every task seems overwhelming and progress is slow. However, after securing just a few key clients and achieving small successes, the company gains momentum. And this momentum propels the team to achieve more significant goals, attracting more clients and growing rapidly. Maxwell shares a story about a company that was struggling until a new CEO took charge. The CEO CEO focused on 
small achievable goals to build initial momentum. As the team started seeing results, their confidence and productivity increased, creating a positive feedback loop that led to a significant growth and it led to significant success. Now, for just a few moments, let's uh, talk about how you and I can apply the law of the big mo to your own leadership journey, transitioning uh, into the next season of your growth. Number one, model enthusiasm and passion. Ask yourself if you model that. Do you demonstrate passion and enthusiasm for the vision? As a leader, you are responsible for modeling the traits you desire in others. Your enthusiasm will be contagious and help build momentum. Number two, motivate and remove demotivators. Motivation is vital for creating momentum. Identify and remove factors or people who cause demotivation within your team. Ensure that your team is energized and focused on the goals. Number three, recognize and reward efforts. Recognize effort and reward accomplishments. This will inspire your team to strive for excellence and fuel momentum. Celebrating small wins can create a positive cycle of motivation and achievement. Number four, build a strong team. Ensure you have the right players on your team. List the skills needed to achieve your goals and evaluate whether your team members possess those skills. Develop the skills within your team or hire new members who can contribute effectively. Number five, create a clear vision. Momentum is easier to steer than to start, so create a clear vision and communicate it effectively. Make sure everyone on your team understands and buys into the vision. Unity of vision is crucial for sustained momentum. Remember, momentum is a leader's best friend. By focusing on generating and maintaining that momentum, you can transform challenges into opportunities and lead your team to greater success. Today, we explore the law of the Big Mo and how momentum is a leader's best friend. By understanding the power of momentum and applying strategies to build and sustain it, you can achieve your leadership effectiveness and achieve remarkable success. Join us next time as we delve into the 17th law, the law of priorities. Thanks for listening today. Until next time, keep growing and leading with purpose. Thank you for tuning in to Beyond Sunday. We hope the conversations and insights shared here have brought you encouragement and have deepened your journey of faith. If today's episode has inspired you, we invite you to follow or subscribe to our podcast so you never miss an opportunity to grow closer to Jesus alongside us. Don't forget to share this podcast with friends and family who might be blessed by it too. Until next time, thanks for joining us and may God bless you abundantly.